So I, I'm here today at the uh, European School of Hematology fifth annual meeting on AML and translational and molecular aspects of it and I'm going to talk today about EZH2. Uh, EZH2 is the catalytic component of the PRC2 complex. It's a methyl transferase and its job is to trimethylate and dimethylate H3K27. It's mutated in acute myeloid leukemia somewhere between 3 and 5 percent, um, so fairly infrequently. Um, and it's also mutated a number of other myeloid malignancies such as MDS and myeloproliferative uh, neoplasms. Uh, the mutations are loss of function and they involve only one of its alleles, so it's heterozygous. Similar to in myeloproliferative disorders and in myelodysplastic syndromes, um, it is coming to the fore that it is a poor risk characteristic in uh, acute myeloid leukemia as well and it predicts for a poorer survival. We've recently analysed over 2,000 patients in the UK NCRI cohort and we find that it's mutated at around about 5% and it predicts for poorer survival with uh, an overall survival at 5 years of 21% versus 33% for those patients that don't have the mutation. And this has been confirmed in some other and smaller series. It's within the uh, chromatin regulators and spliceosome uh, compartment in the, uh, the recent 11 group uh, uh, classification of acute myeloid leukemia and they have also been found to have a, a poor outcome so we think it has prognostic significance. Um, the other reason that it's uh, interesting is that uh, the presence of a mutation may actually confer some therapeutic implications in that the demethylase that takes off the H3K27 mark um, can be targeted. So the, those are UTX and JMJD3. There are inhibitors available that can target these and they may be useful in treating these NH2 mutant disease. Also, there is a, a, another EZH, EZH1, with which it's redundant, and this is necessary for the uh, mutated cells, and EZH1, two mutations, uh, can also be targeted with inhibitors.